Chris Broussard. You were here mm -hmm. yesterday to talk about this matchup. Mm -hmm. And now I got to ask you, how much trouble, if any, is Golden State in? They're in no trouble. I mean, not, not in this series. No, not even a little bit. Look, first, let me talk about Boogie Cousins. Uh, and I do think the players really care about him. Mm -hmm. I think they're pulling for him. This is an all-star mm -hmm. player who's I agree. coming back from injury. Oh, so sure. I think that bothers them a little bit. It didn't hurt them last night because he got hurt early. They ended up going up by 31, so they were fine. But I think going forward, they feel for him. That said, I don't think they'll miss him at all going okay. forward. I, defensively, even though he was playing hard defense and he was doing his best, they're going to be probably better defensively without him. Kevon Looney mm -hmm. is a better defender. Bogut. And, Bogut, yeah. And I even think offensively, at times lately, they might have been going through him a little too much because it takes away from all what that they, they do, do otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think they'll be fine without Boogie going forward. I think last night they got complacent, which they're, they're known to do. Yes. You know, I mean, they, get, they got up 31. They start clowning. They think it's over. They get, out of, they get their game face off. And next thing you know, give the Clippers credit. They keep coming at you. And they got it going. Lou Williams got it going. And the, the uh, Warriors just couldn't get it back. Mm -hmm. So I think that's all last night was. I, I do have to give props to Patrick Beverly. Because I have always said for what is Kevin Durant in his 12th year, maybe? Yes. The, for his entire career, I have felt like he is unguardable. Unguardable. Like, you just do your best and hope he misses. Wow. But, but if he misses, like, you're not going to stop him. He's just going to miss. Patrick Beverly is stopping him. He is locking him up. He he's holding him. He's he's only up. taking 12 shots a game in these first two games. Obviously, he got him ejected. He I didn't think he was in the Durant's head. Durant was kind of smiling and clapping when he got ejected, but he look, when you have a small guy who can get up in your legs and get up underneath you, like, everybody's like, well, why don't Durant just shoot up over him? Durant likes to shoot off the dribble. Mm -hmm. But he's so up in Durant that right. he can't really dribble effectively mm -hmm. and pull up in a comfort zone or in rhythm. And then Durant, even though he can post, that's not his strength. He doesn't really want to go down there all the right. time. And so he's not exposing him in the post. And he, I mean, Durant, nine turnovers, only eight field goal attempts. He is getting in his head. And what I'm saying is the problem is not going to be this series, but potentially in the next series against the Rockets. Because, number one, the Rockets are starting to play great defense themselves. Against Utah in game one and late in the season, they play really good defense. We know what they can do offensively. But if P.J. Tucker mm -hmm. can take a page out of Patrick Beverly's book, now he's not as quick as him, he's not going to be able to get up in Durant like that, but he's stronger and he's bigger. So if he can maybe take some notes from what Patrick Beverly is doing, uh, they could make this thing really interesting. Mm -hmm. And I would favor the Warriors, but I think the Rockets, uh, it's going to be a knockdown, drag-out second mm. round. Pat Beverly walking him out. You, you got to remain you're, you're silent. You're both missing the points. Anything you say can and will be used to get you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. The you cannot afford one. <laughs> Go ahead, take it away, Skip. I'm going to let you you're have it. you let me have Yep. It? <laughs> To your point about Kevin Durant, it's not just Patrick Beverly. As soon as the ball touches Kevin's hands, the second defender runs at him. I didn't see no so second defender in that I, one, Chris. I saw, I saw it all night long. I watched the whole game after I went to sleep. Then I got up and watched the second half this morning, <laughs> shocked, because I gave up on the game at halftime. <laughs> I did win another bet with him. <laughs> That's okay. So the point was Kevin was raving at shoot-around yesterday, bragging about how he loves it when they run the second defender because I love to share the basketball. I love to play beautiful basketball, and I love to kick it to the weak side to our open shooters because we got all kinds of shooters, blah, 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 blah. And last night, he's trying. he became a standstill feet on the floor point guard last night because as soon as the ball touched his hands, it was up to him to find the open shooter and they kept intercepting or knocking down pass after pass. He had nine turnovers. You're going to lose when your star has nine turnovers. And they had, what, 21 in game one and 22 last night? That's 43 turnovers in two home games. 
That is wrong. Well, they careless with the ball. Right? They've always yeah, they've been careless. Always. You remember that's, Game that's Seven? Well, this year, the NBA Finals during, during the year this year, they tied for 21st in turnovers. So there you they're go. Normally good with now. What have I told you all year long? Bad sign, bad sign, bad sign. They lost six home games by 20 plus points. Yep. They lost two of those six by 30 plus points. That is just wrong. You can't tell me that's championship medal. There, there's something f- deep flawed in this team psyche right now where we saw a microcosm of that because they get up by 31 points with seven minutes left in the third quarter. Mm-hmm. They get outscored all the way home 72 to 37. On your home court, I'm, it's a flaw. It, it's a huge blinking red bad sign yep. that something's wrong at the, at the core of this basketball team. Mm-hmm. It was up to Kevin and then – your two-time MVP, Steph Curry, to say no because you're right. They took their game face off. And Steph, I I love Steph Curry, but he just hot dogs all night long and he's beating his chest and what was he yelling? I'm a bad boy. (laughs) I'm a bad boy. And he's playing with his mouth guard and he's just, just, after a while, I just say, stop it, just play. (laughs) And last night when it was time to play, and I've said this repeatedly about him, He comes up small a lot in big clutch situations, and that was a time when they needed to slam the door, and in the fourth quarter, he shot two for nine. And he got his open look. He got Montrez Harrell switched on him, Mm -hmm. and he he pump fakes him, and he gets a wide open look to win the basketball game, and he missed it. And he misses a lot of It wasn't really wide open. No, but Harrell got his hand up. But but again, for him, the shots he makes... Come on. He hit the big one earlier, right before that. But that ain't this one. This is for all the marbles. And this is for this series. You're going to slam the door shut. Excuse me. Now they're going to have to go to L.A. And they're going to have to fight with this team. And I'm talking about knock down, drag out. It gets physical. It gets crazy. The crowd's going to be crazy. Steve Ballmer's going to be crazier than any fan in the crowd. And it's going to be a dog fight because little you, little pit bull Pat Beverly, he's yeah. going to be all up in him. Mm-hmm. And they're up in the, – they, they, they got people everywhere who mm-hmm. are just, as Doc has said all year, most resilient team I've ever coached. I think he's having the most fun he's ever had coaching a basketball team. Mm. They are auditioning right now for – hey, come to L.A., but don't join them. Join us. Jo- join the team that shares right, the building, right? Look fun. Because look, look what we're doing. Right. Look, look what we're made of. We're made of the right stuff over here. Well, I just know if this old basketball thing don't work out for Pat Beverly, he can be a corrections officer. Because mm. he sure <laughs> know how to handle them. They can't be too big or too tall for him. Six foot one, mm. the best player in the NBA. Well, Two-time uh, finals uh, MVP. Uh, well, wait a second. A lot. At least he's in the playoffs. Don't do that, Skip. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. He's in the playoffs, right? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. He played uh, last night. Chris, you yep. know, had that been LeBron, oh, took eight shots, right. had nine turnovers, and Pat Beverly, because remember, and pa- six fouls in the second half, yeah. four in the third quarter. Huh? The last three offensive. Fouls. Right, right. Mm. He only took eight shots. Why is that? Because Pat I told you he's going to play point guard. Pat Beverly, but they, right. they, but see, that's what I keep telling you. Sure. That's what makes you Le- nine LeBron. Times has a unique set of skills. Yeah. Very few people can possess those skills. Oh. You keep talking about, oh, he can do it. No, LeBron just does it so exemplary. Uh-huh. We think everybody can do it, but they can't. Wait, well, just point of order. Yeah. Who was the MVP of the finals the last two years? Help me out. I don't remember. Well, with Pat Beverly. With uh-huh. Pat Beverly in the finals, that's uh-huh. what we should have got. No, but Pat Kevin Beverly Durant was. Up. And where did Kevin Durant hit the shot of shots We're not talking about We're not talking about In the Kings okay, house well, he in game to, three. Well, he need to hit the shot How of shots. How do you do that? Well, he need to hit another shot of shot. Because okay. right now, Pat Beverly in his mind. Well. Uh, well, he might not be in his head, but he in his neighborhood. Okay. So he know he coming. Mm. Patrick Something Beverly. is wrong with so the Golden State Warriors. do you think they're in trouble in this series? Yes. I think it's going to be a long... They potentially it, could it, lose? It, the, the trouble is, what if this goes seven games? And it's got potential to me to go seven games. I still think... You say five? I'm going to say five. I'm going to say five. Because they they were handling them. They, they'll win they a game. They were destroying them. They'll win a them. home game. They're going to win one of these games at Staples. I, I, don't, I think they've now... Look, it shouldn't take this, mm-hmm. but it's a way, it was a wake-up call okay. to the Warriors. We'll As you said, it's Steph's clowning around yeah. and hot-dogging and all that. I think it was a wake-up call. I think Absolutely. Kevin Durant is made of good stuff. And this is a challenge. Yep. Like you said, I mean, Patrick Beverly is putting him on blast. Yeah. This is this is the time when Durant's supposed to step up and I'm the best player in the world. And now a lot of people are starting to say that. LeBron's out of the playoffs, KD's the best. Did you step up? Did you did, did Kevin Durant 
answer questions about what happened to the game? Well, that's that's I didn't like that either. <gasps> I mean, mm. that can't oh, be Right, you should talk. You Pat Beverly tougher than wet leather. Mm. Now, you he know what? Tough. He ain't going nowhere, Skip. And I was well, looking at it. Wait a At least KD didn't throw the team under the Don't bus do like that. somebody else. <laughs> he did. Because he <laughs> left After people. Loss, he did. What would LeBron have said hold, last night? First, Don't look at me. Hold on. No, 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 no. He left people to answer questions mm. for him. Okay. That's worse. I, I now, I got to answer questions for you. No, you was here, too. You were part of it. I would agree. Now, I got to answer questions for you. He should have spoke. There's That's no, all a part of that, Skip. speaks all the rest all, of us. All of that goes right, into right. being He's the best player. Be. All that yeah. goes into being the face of the NBA. Mm. Say what you will or may. Yeah. LeBron James talk. Mm. You might not like what he got to say. I don't. But he does talk. I yeah. give you that. Yeah. I just want to know. Yeah. Where Sometimes he shows up with a Six. soft cast on. How tall are you, how, 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 oh, how yeah, you Chris? Yes, five ten. So Patrick Beverly, like an inch and a half taller than Chris Boussard. He looking up at Kevin Durant like this, like you're taller than five ten. Yeah, no? you are taller five, than ten. that. Nah, and he tells you inflate your heights. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm six two. <laughs> but it's great. To, it's refreshing to see the matchup and that he's able to do it. I love old Pat. That's my new favorite. Right. I need to get me a clip so of jersey. Hard. Hey, Pat Beverly, send me a jersey. Mm. I wear it right here on Undisputed. Mm. Cause I'm tough like Pat Beverly. Yeah, but well, Pat Beverly tough like me. I'm, old, you know I'm a little older than he. <laughs> you are no longer Big Play Shea because he plays for the Clippers. No. Big play Shea, Gilgis Alexander. I like Shea, man. Hey, nice little rookie. He's yep. a nice little right. long rookie Ooh. who had four big Landry last Shea, night. Man. Guess who picked him? Jerry West picked him. He strikes again. Jerry yeah. West. Landry Shamit shot that thing. He said, yeah. I knew it was good when it left. Shocker. Was He's crack. a shocker. <laughs> Shamit the shocker. You're saying seven. Hmm? I, I got five. Got I still got five. For seven. I think these are going to be two great battles. Pat Beverly need to get me one of them jerseys. Yeah. yeah. I'm repping Pat. Pat. I don't gonna, mess with the Clippers, but I rep you're him. You're going to wear a, a Clippers Oh, I thought jersey? you meant a 35 Over jersey. Lakers? No, Honestly. 35 jersey for what? <laughs> <laughs> Beverly, he's 35. No, you knew who is the best player on the planet. I mean, if he come join, if he come link up, you know, okay. we'll be all right. Yeah.